Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priya Sipaha. As a professor of law, I have observed that usually the students and many law person even are confused between the term called lawyer, advocate, barrister, solicitor and the similar terms like this. In this video, I have tried to explain the meaning of these things and the difference between them. These terms have different meanings in different countries. Let's start with India. In India, a lawyer is someone who has completed legal education or graduate in law, but he cannot represent in the court proceedings. So a lawyer is somebody who has been trained in the law. He may be legal advisor, consultant, academician, in-house legal counsel, or in a corporate firm, and he may draft documents such as contract, deeds or wills, etc. But he cannot practice in the court. Next is advocate. Those lawyers who qualified bar council exam in India as per the Advocate Act 1961 to practice before Indian courts are advocates. The role of an advocate in contrast is limited to representing his or her client before the court. He is a person who publicly supports or recommends a particular cause or policy. He can put a case on someone else's behalf and he is a professional pleader in a court of justice. As per the definition of Advocate Act 1961, advocate means an advocate entered in any role under the provision of this act. Legal practitioners means an advocate or vakil or any high court appleader, muktar or revenue agent. Thus, the act also clarifies that a person registered with a state bar council on completion of his law degree is known as advocate. Advocate on record. He is an advocate who is entitled under the Order 4 of the Supreme Court Rules 2013, framed under Article 145 of the Constitution, to act as well as to plead for a party in the Supreme Court of India. As per the rules, no advocate other than an advocate on record shall be entitled to file an appearance or act for a party in the Supreme Court of India. No advocate other than an advocate on record can appear and plead in any matters unless he is instructed by an advocate on record. If an advocate wants to practice as an advocate on record in the Supreme Court, he or she needs an additional qualifications. The advocate has to practice for four years as an advocate and thereafter has to intimate to the Supreme Court that he or she has started taking training with a senior advocate on record because he or she intend to become an advocate on record. After the expiry of one year's training, the advocate has to appear for an examination conducted by the Supreme Court itself. After an advocate passes this examination, he or she must have a registered office within a radius of 10 miles from the Supreme Court building and a registered clerk. It is after this that the chamber judge of the Supreme Court accept him as an advocate on record. The next is Advocate General. An Advocate General is a senior officer of the law. In some common law and hybrid jurisdictions, the officer performs the function of a legal advisor to the government, analogous to attorney general in other common law and hybrid jurisdiction. The office of the advocate general is a constitutional office created under Article 165 of the Constitution of India. The governor of the state appoints a person who is qualified to be appointed as a judge of the high court as advocate general of the state. Attorney General of India The AG of India is the Indian government's chief legal advisor and is primary lawyer in the Supreme Court of India. He is appointed by the President of India under Article 76.1 of the Constitution and holds office during the pleasure of the President.
He must be a person qualified to be appointed as a judge of the Supreme Court, also must have been a judge of any high court for five years or an advocate of any high court for 10 years or an eminent jurist in the opinion of the president and must be a citizen of India. The AG give necessary advice to the government of India in legal matters referred to him. He also performs other legal duties assigned to him by the president. The AG has a right of audience in all courts in India, as well as the right to participate in the proceedings of the parliament, though not to vote. The AG appears on behalf of Government of India in all cases in the Supreme Court in which Government of India is concerned. He also represents the Government of India in any references made by the President to the Supreme Court under Article 143 of the Constitution. Unlike the AG of the US, the AG of India does not have any executive authority. Those functions are performed by the Law Minister of India. Also, the AG is not a government servant and is not debarred from private legal practice. The AG can accept briefs but cannot appear against the government. He cannot defend an accused in the criminal proceedings and accept the directorship of a company without the permission of the government. The AG is assisted by a Solicitor General and four additional Solicitor Generals. The AG is to be consulted only in legal matters of real importance and only after the Ministry of Law has been consulted. All reference to the Attorney General are made by the Law Ministry. The next is Solicitor General of India. The Solicitor General is subordinate to the AG of India. The Solicitor General of India is the second law officer of the country, assists the Attorney General and is himself assisted by four additional Solicitor General for India. Unlike the AG, Solicitor General does not tender legal advice to the Government of India. His workload is confined to appear in courts on behalf of the Union of India. Now the next country is Britain. The meaning of attorney in Britain is a professional person authorized to practice law, conduct lawsuit or give legal advice. Whereas barrister is in Britain and Canada, a lawyer who speaks in the higher court of law on behalf of either the defense or prosecution. Barrister can be distinguished from a solicitor because they wear a wig and gown in the court. They work at higher level of court than solicitors and their main role is to act as advocates in legal hearing, which means they stand in court and plead the case on behalf of their client in front of a judge. Barrister do not come into contact with the public as much as solicitors. They are given details of a case by a solicitor and then have a certain amount of time to review the evidence and to prepare what they are going to say in court. Most barristers are self-employed and work in chambers with other barristers so they can share cost of accommodation and administration. They can also be employed in-house as advisor by bank, corporation and solicitor for. Next is solicitor. In Britain, a lawyer who give legal advice and prepares legal documents are solicitors. They do pleading or written statement in a case to be filed before the court and performed functions of an attorney for clients. They can work for a big range of organizations, including commercial or non-commercial law firms, the government, private business, banks, and corporations. They have specialized knowledge of different areas of the law, such as family, crime, finance, property, and employment. Most of the time, solicitors advise clients, undertake negotiation, and draft legal documents. It is primarily a desk job, but does involve traveling to see clients and representing them in courts. In the past, a solicitor's advocacy work was restricted to magistrate's court.
and minor cases in county courts. But now there are a few solicitor advocates who work in higher levels of the court. The next is Attorney General in England and Wales. AG is one of the law officers of the Crown along with the subordinate Solicitor General in it for England and Wales. The Attorney General serves as the Chief Legal Advisor of the Crown and its government in England and Wales. The AG is a non-cabinet minister who leads the Attorney General's office. He has the primary role of advising the government on any legal repercussion of their actions either orally at meeting or in writing. He advises not only the government as a whole, but also advises individual departments. Although the primary role is no longer one of litigation, the AG still represent the Crown and government in court in some select particularly important cases and chooses the Treasury Council who handle most government legal cases. By convention, he represents the government in every case in front of the International Court of Justice. The Attorney General also superintends the Crown Prosecution Service and appoints its head, the Director of Public Prosecutions. Decisions to prosecute are taken by the Crown Prosecution Service other than in exceptional cases, that is when Attorney General's consent is required by statute or in case related to national security. The AG also superintends the government legal department and the serious fraud office. He is responsible for making applications to the court, restraining vexatious litigation and may intervene in litigation to represent the interest of charity or the public interest in certain family law cases. He is also officially a leader of the Bar of England and Wales although this is merely custom and has no duties or rights attached to it. Since the passing of the Law Officer Act 1997, and due to any duties of the AG can be delegated to the Solicitor General for England and Wales and his or her actions are treated as coming from the AG. The beginning of the 20th century saw a shift from litigation and more towards legal advice. And today, the AG delegates most cases to the Crown Prosecution Service and Treasury Council. Solicitor General in England and Wales The Solicitor General is one of the law officers of the Crown and the deputy of the Attorney General whose duty is to advise the Crown and Cabinet on the law. He can exercise the powers of the Attorney General in the Attorney General's absence. The next country is United States of America. In US, a solicitor is a qualified person who represents and advises his clients. He can advocate in courts and usually specializes in a certain area of law. It is an offense to call yourself a solicitor if you are not one. In the US, a lawyer is a general term for anyone licensed to practice law. Next is attorney. An attorney at law in the US is a practitioner in a court of law who is legally qualified to prosecute and defend actions in such court on the retainer of clients. Alternative terms includes counselor and lawyer. The next term is litigator. A litigator is a specific type of lawyer who tries cases in court as opposed to the transactional lawyer who might work on contracts and never see the inside of a courtroom. Litigation attorney, also known as litigator or trial lawyers, represent plaintiff and defendant in civil lawsuits. They manage all phases of the litigation from the investigation, pleading and discovery to the pretrial, trial, settlement and appeal processes. Next is United States Solicitor General. 
The U.S. Solicitor General is the fourth highest ranking official in the U.S. Department of Justice. The U.S. Solicitor General is the person appointed to represent the federal government of the U.S. before the Supreme Court of the U.S. The Solicitor General determined the legal position that the U.S. will take in the Supreme Court. In addition to supervising and conducting cases in which the government is a party, the Office of the Solicitor General also files amicus curiae briefs in cases in which the federal government has a significant interest in the legal issue. The Office of the Solicitor General argues on behalf of the government in virtually every case in which the U.S. is a party and also argues in most of the cases in which the government has filed an amicus brief. In the Federal Court of Appeal, the Office of the Solicitor General reviews cases decided against the U.S. and determines whether the government will seek review in the Supreme Court. The Office of the Solicitor General also reviews cases decided against the U.S. in the federal district courts and approve every case in which the government files an appeal. United States Attorney General The U.S. AG is the head of the U.S. Department of Justice, is concerned with all legal affairs, and is the chief lawyer of the U.S. government. In cases of the federal death penalty, the power to seek the death penalty rests with the AG. Under the Appointments Clause of Constitution, the AG is nominated by the President and appointed with the advice and consent of the Senate. The Constitution provides that civil officers of the United States, which would include the AG, may be impeached by Congress for treason, bribery, or high crimes and misdemeanors. This is all about the meaning and the distinction between the lawyer, advocate, barrister, solicitors, and the similar term. I hope now the confusion is clear. Thank you for watching. And for the detailed notes, you may visit to my website that is www.priyasipaha.com. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.